I watched as my father delved deep into his pockets, searching for something of value. The man opposite him with teeth sharpened to a magnificent point was staring in my father's eyes as if he could see straight through to his soul. With one slight upwards glance towards me, I knew that my life was about to change. The girl. No, no, not my beauty, please. I had always loved my father dearly. But as I watched him about to agree to give up his one and only child in a game of cards, I sadly admit my love began to fade. The girl is to live with me. I assure you she will be well looked after. At that moment, the vampire looked up at me, and with just one corner of his lip, a sort of smile arose. It was then I felt inquisitive rather than intimidated. Oh no, no. In return, I will ensure that you will never have to worry for money or for your safety. Beauty, I'm sorry. Truly, I am. I couldn't manage any words. Instead, I closed my eyes and tried to imagine the future. What would it bring? My father immediately gathered his belongings he previously lost and scurried out of the vampire's manor. I guess you do not have any change of clothes with you. No. Take off what you're wearing. Shocked, I stared at him. I thought I would be outraged to hear such a thing, but instead I took my clothes off without question. Put this on. Your clothes will be clean in the morning. I will buy you new things tomorrow. Thank you. Not only am I taking my clothes off for him, I am also thanking him. You may sleep now. As I walk towards the door, my heart is beating so loud and I'm sure he can hear it. As I get closer to him, I swallow deeply. He places his hand on my shoulder and swings me round. All I want is for him to sink those beautifully white sharp teeth into my neck. But I blink and he is no longer there. I lay in my ice-cold bed, thinking of father, and how my sadness has turned to hatred for leaving me in the company of a vampire. Hello? I sensed you were upset. No. Angry? Yes. My father has just abandoned me. You no longer feel sadness. Just hate. I nodded, and suddenly my heart started racing again. I could see the vampire getting lost in the simple sound of my beating heart. Come near to me. As I moved in front of him, protected by his long, muscular arms, I felt safe. His teeth, his teeth are inside of me. I can feel his presence running through my blood, into my veins, pumping into my heart, until it was beating no longer. I blinked. Beauty. Beauty. You're still here. I will never leave you, Beauty. Unlike my father. I feel faint. You need to eat. Eat? Blood. My Beauty. You want and need blood. Bring me my father. I impatiently waited for the knock at the door. And my father, with his pathetic, sorry for his self look upon his face, I waited for him to walk in and think that I had forgiven him for all that he had done. Welcome. Oh, vampire, they're going to sell my cottage. I need some help. I stood watching my father from the darkness, hold his hand out, begging for money. He did not ask of me, just begged. How dare he be so rude. This rush came over me, and I found myself staring at the vein in his wrist as he stretched it out for money. Oh, Beauty, what has he done to you? No, Beauty, don't. No. No! I stared at my father's frail, drained body. I felt nothing. No sadness, no anger, no regret. I turn to my side and see the vampire standing next to me. My feelings were back, 
I felt nothing but loyalty and trust. I blinked, and my vampire had thrown himself upon me, kissing my blood-stained lips. <laughs>